Welcome to our vibrant corner of the internet. Join us on a journey where creativity meets inspiration as we explore interesting topic. Prepare to be captivated, enlightened, and entertained. This is not just a channel, it's a community of curious minds seeking beauty in every frame. Let's embark on this adventure together. Jennifer Lopez, once dubbed Jenny from the Block for her rootsy beginnings, now finds herself under the scrutinizing gaze of public opinion as her latest endeavors unfold amidst a flurry of mixed reactions. Amidst the crescendo of her career, marked by the release of her album, This Is Me, Now, and its cinematic counterpart, This Is Me, Now, A Love Story. Alongside the unveiling of the Amazon Prime documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, Lopez is navigating a landscape fraught with both admiration and criticism. With each step, Lopez invites the world to witness her journey, a narrative intricately woven with themes of love, longing, and the pursuit of personal fulfillment. Yet, beneath the glitz and glamour lies a vulnerability that exposes her to the harsh realities of fame. As she reunites with her former flame, Ben Affleck, after decades apart, the spotlight intensifies, casting a stark contrast between the romance depicted on screen and the scrutiny faced in reality. In the midst of this whirlwind, Lopez stands as a testament to resilience, embracing the complexities of her narrative with grace and determination. Despite the echoes of mockery that reverberate in the public sphere, she remains steadfast in her pursuit of authenticity, refusing to be confined by the confines of societal expectations. As This Is Me Now unfolds, it serves as a poignant reminder of Lopez's evolution a journey marked by triumphs and setbacks, love and loss. Through her artistry, she invites us to delve deeper into the intricacies of the human experience, daring us to confront our own vulnerabilities and aspirations. In a world where perception often overshadows reality, Jennifer Lopez remains an enigmatic figure, a symbol of resilience, reinvention, and unwavering determination. As she continues to navigate the tumultuous waters of fame, one thing remains certain, her legacy will endure, etched into the fabric of popular culture for generations to come. In a moment of raw vulnerability, Jennifer Lopez peels back the layers of her soul, unveiling the essence of her latest creative opus. With an air of introspection, she reflects on a journey spanning decades, a quest for the elusive yet omnipotent force called love. From the dawn of her career to the present day, Lopez has traversed the labyrinth of emotions, seeking clarity amidst the chaos. I've been on this search for so long, she confides, her words echoing with a resonance born of lived experience. From the euphoria of her first record to the silver screen debut that marked the inception of her cinematic legacy, Lopez has been a pilgrim on a quest for truth, grappling with the complexities of human connection. With her latest album, a magnum opus years in the making, Lopez finds solace in closure. This kind of closed the loop in a way, she muses, her voice tinged with a sense of finality. Through the tapestry of melodies and lyrics, she encapsulates the essence of love, its beauty, its imperfections, its enduring power. As she beckons listeners into her world, Lopez implores us to believe in the transcendent nature of true love. True love does exist, she asserts her words carrying the weight of conviction. In a world fraught with uncertainty, she offers a beacon of hope, a reminder that amidst the chaos, some things remain eternal. Please don't give up on that, she pleads, her voice a fervent plea. For Lopez, love transcends mere sentiment. It is the very fabric of existence, the essence of what it means to be human. Through her music, she imparts a timeless truth, that in the tapestry of life, love is the thread that binds us all together. In her quest for understanding, Jennifer Lopez emerges not as an icon, but as a fellow traveler on the road of life, a seeker of truth, a champion of love. As her words reverberate through the annals of time, they serve as a testament to the enduring power of the human heart. As Jennifer Lopez basks in the glow of her latest artistic triumphs, a storm brews on the horizon, fueled by the relentless tide of social media scrutiny. While her documentary may have dropped with much fanfare, the echoes of criticism reverberate across the digital landscape as TikTok users unleash a barrage of disdain, 
aimed squarely at the pop icon. In a virtual battlefield of opinions, accusations of creative narcissism pierce through the veneer of adulation, casting a shadow over Lopez's carefully curated image. With surgical precision, detractors dissect her every move, accusing her of feigned authenticity and a blatant disregard for relatability. The onslaught doesn't end there. Old interviews resurface like ghosts from the past, their words twisted and contorted to fit the narrative of condemnation. As TikTok users tear her quotes to shreds, Lopez finds herself ensnared in a web of scrutiny, her every word scrutinized under the unforgiving glare of the digital spotlight. Yet amidst the cacophony of criticism, Lopez remains undeterred, a beacon of resilience in the face of adversity. For her, art is not merely a commodity to be consumed, but a reflection of the human experience, flawed, complex, and inherently vulnerable. As the digital battleground rages on, Lopez stands as a testament to the dichotomy of fame, a paradox where adulation and criticism coexist in uneasy harmony. In a world where perception often overshadows reality, she navigates the treacherous waters of public opinion with poise and grace, refusing to be defined by the whims of social media. As the dust settles and the echoes of criticism fade into the ether, one thing remains certain. Jennifer Lopez, despite the slings and arrows hurled in her direction, stands tall as a symbol of resilience, reinvention, and unwavering determination. For in the crucible of adversity, true strength is forged, and Lopez emerges unscathed, her spirit unbroken and her resolve unyielding. As the digital discourse rages on, TikTok users add fuel to the fire with biting commentary on Jennifer Lopez's perceived fall from grace. People weren't loving her even before all this anyway, one user remarks, their words dripping with disdain. Another chime is in, declaring, people are done with all stars. In a world where fame is both coveted and reveled, the spectacle of a celebrity's downfall becomes a tantalizing feast for the masses. In the age of reality television and social media, the allure of watching the rich and famous crumble is an appetizing pastime for many. From the comfort of their screens, audiences revel in the drama, eagerly awaiting each twist and turn in the unfolding narrative. For Jennifer Lopez, it's not just reality TV, it's the unveiling of her most intimate moments in the form of a documentary. But perhaps the lampooning of J.Lo serves as a mirror, reflecting back the darker impulses of human nature. Experts point to schadenfreude, the pleasure derived from others' misfortune, as a driving force behind our obsession with celebrity downfall. In the face of someone's perceived perfection, the revelation of their flaws becomes a source of twisted satisfaction. Yet, amidst the spectacle and the schadenfreude, there lies a deeper truth. Our fascination with celebrity drama speaks volumes about our own desires and insecurities. In the carefully curated world of social media, where filters and facades reign supreme, the unraveling of a celebrity's facade offers a glimpse into the raw, unfiltered reality beneath the surface. As the saga of Jennifer Lopez unfolds, it serves as a sobering reminder of the complexities of fame and fortune. Behind the glitz and glamour lies a world fraught with pitfalls and perils, where the line between adoration and disdain blurs with each passing moment. In the end, perhaps the greatest story of all is not that of Jennifer Lopez, but of ourselves, and the truths we dare not confront. Elizabeth Cohen, an associate professor at West Virginia University specializing in the psychology of media and pop culture, offers a sobering insight into our fascination with celebrity downfall. There's pleasure in watching rich people who seem to have it all, and these moments remind us that, well, they really don't have it all, she reflects. In a world where fame and fortune often serve as the ultimate markers of success, the unraveling of a celebrity's carefully crafted image exposes the fragility of their existence. Cohen's words resonate with a truth that cuts to the core of our collective psyche. As we bear witness to the trials and tribulations of the rich and famous, we are reminded of the inherent imperfections that lie beneath the surface. In our quest for schadenfreude, we find solace in the revelation that even those who appear to have it all are not immune to life's hardships. Yet, Cohen goes further, 
challenging the notion of deservingness in the realm of celebrity. And maybe they don't even necessarily deserve it all, she suggests, casting doubt on the meritocracy of fame and fortune. In a society where success is often equated with worthiness, the notion that some may not deserve their elevated status forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about privilege and power. In the end, Cohen's words serve as a poignant reminder of the complexities of celebrity culture. Behind the glitz and glamour lies a world fraught with contradictions and uncertainties, where the pursuit of perfection often leads to inevitable downfall. As we grapple with our own desires and insecurities, we are confronted with the uncomfortable reality that even the most seemingly invincible among us are ultimately human, with all the flaws and frailties that entails. In a candid revelation, Jennifer Lopez reflects on the culmination of her artistic journey, suggesting that her latest album may serve as a poignant testament to the existence of true love, a sentiment that resonates deeply with her own experiences. Yet, amidst the celebration, a bittersweet note emerges as she hints that this musical endeavor could mark the culmination of her illustrious career. As the world grapples with the complexities of fame and fortune, Elizabeth Cohen, a scholar delving into the psychology of media and pop culture, sheds light on the underlying dynamics at play. Through the lens of a psychological theory called social comparison, Cohen unveils the intricate mechanisms driving our fascination with celebrity drama. According to Cohen, the theory of social comparison suggests that humans are inherently inclined to compare themselves to others, seeking to establish their place in the world. When confronted with individuals perceived as better or more successful, we fall into the trap of upward social comparison, inevitably leading to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. In the case of someone as iconic as Jennifer Lopez, the spectacle of her wealth and fame becomes a mirror reflecting our own desires and shortcomings. As we witness her triumphs and tribulations, we are compelled to confront our own aspirations and limitations, grappling with the stark reality of our own lives in comparison. In this age of social media and hyper-connectivity, the allure of celebrity drama serves as a potent reminder of our inherent vulnerabilities as human beings. Through the lens of Jennifer Lopez's career, we are invited to confront the complexities of fame, fortune, and the elusive pursuit of true love, a journey fraught with both triumphs and tribulations. As Lopez contemplates the possibility of bidding farewell to the limelight, her words echo with a resonance that transcends mere celebrity gossip. They serve as a poignant reminder of the power of music and storytelling to illuminate the human experience, prompting us to reflect on our own desires, fears, and aspirations in the ever-changing landscape of fame and fortune. In the labyrinth of celebrity obsession, the line between love and hate, adoration and disdain, blurs into a kaleidoscope of personal preferences and individual inclinations. As Robert Thompson aptly points out, the enigmatic dance between affection and aversion is not a puzzle to be decipherated by science, but a riddle woven into the fabric of show business itself. Why do some people hate this, and why do some people like it? That's not a question for science, Thompson muses. That's a question of show business. In the ever-shifting landscape of popular culture, the whims of public opinion defy rational explanation, guided by a mysterious alchemy of personal taste and societal influence. Whether one finds themselves enamored with the glamour of celebrity or repelled by its excesses, the choice is ultimately a deeply personal one, a reflection of one's own desires, fears, and aspirations. Yet, amidst the dizzying whirl of fame and fortune, it's easy to lose sight of the world beyond the glittering facade of Hollywood. Indeed, if the spotlight of celebrity obsession begins to cast too long a shadow over one's own life, perhaps it's time to venture beyond the confines of the silver screen and explore the untapped potential of one's own neighborhood. For in the end, the true richness of life lies not in the vicarious thrills of celebrity culture, but in the authentic connections and experiences found in the streets and alleyways of our own block. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful content. See you next time.